Hello and welcome to my channel. Today we're going to do a review. We're going to do a comparison. M soil filter versus model one. Greater than 20 or greater than 20 is equals to 20. Well, there are two different meanings, you know, at 20 versus greater than 20. Greater than the 20, it means pick a number, 40 microns, 50 microns, 60 microns. Can it be 35 microns? No. It goes in tens. Uh, why in tens? Because of non-synthetic filter media. This filter media is 1920s technology. It's made from Rom wood and it's cheap to produce. It's great for making money because it doesn't cost much. Uh, and it has a short life and it cannot do the same job as synthetic filter media. You have an M soil right here. Even color is different. It's a synthetic filter media and it's at 20 micron rating. So let me show you what it says on the box. It's always good to see, you know what I mean, the actual proof instead of just, you know what I mean, me saying it. So right here, average filter efficiency at 20 microns and there is an ISO standard. ISO is for quality. If you did not know, and it's 98.7 at 20 microns rating. So almost 99%, almost, you know, that, that 0.3% is not, a, is not a big deal. However, it still counts. Because filters, you know what I mean, it's what keeps the oil clean. Filter is what keeps the engine running flawlessly for many, many thousands of miles. And if you look at a mobile greater than Tori, Let's take a look. Right there. Greater than 20 microns. Remove particles greater. So anything greater than 20 microns will not be trapped by this filter. Is it 40 microns? Is it 50 microns? Is it 60 microns? A safe, safe assumption is 40 microns and up. You know, anything 40 than that, it will be trapped. It will not be trapped in 20 because it says greater than 20. If it said at 20 microns rating, would have been excellent, but it's not. So, at 20 microns is definitely better. It traps more, it traps smaller particles more. Will it become too rest restrictive? No, we cannot become too restrictive. restrictive. If you follow what it's designed for, it will not be too restrictive. You know, the M soil filter, this one particular is 15,000 miles. They have 25,000 miles oil filter. This is 20K oil change filter. You know what I mean? It will not be restrictive. If filter becomes too restrictive, there is a bypass. Because when oil is cold, it's, it's been bypassed because uh, oil is too thick to come through the filter, regardless if it's a synthetic filter media or non-synthetic media. It's still being bypassed. When oil is too thick, it cannot be pushed through it. So partially maybe being filtrated, but for the most part, it's being bypassed until it warms up. There is a, that's why there is a saying, you know, normal operating temperature. That terminology or that term exists for a reason. Oil has to be at a normal operating temperature for it, for it to be able to flow freely through the filter and being filtered out. Otherwise, it will be bypassed. That's the reason why they have bypass valves on every filter. Without bypass valves, angel will be locking up. Angels will be starving of oil. This is just a uh, industry standard that has been developed many years ago, and now OEMs and aftermarkets are following because you must have it. Because your engine would not last beyond 5,000 miles if you put a filter without bypass. It will be locked up. It will be worn out and will lock up. So, how big is 20 microns? You know what I mean? How can we, uh, as per visual, or to have better understanding, so this is what I have found, you know what I mean? Uh, human hair is 80 microns. You know, it's thin. However, imagine uh, particles, you know what I mean? Suit, all that stuff in your oil and not being trapped by the filter. You know what I mean? So. Look at the talcum powder, it's 10 micron. Blood cell, white blood cells, you know, 25 microns. So the smaller the micron radius of the filler or the filter, the better job it can do. The longer life of the engine will be due to 20 versus 40 microns or about greater than 20, you know what I mean? Allow that, allow that they put, you know, the, the companies are being honest, you know. They will say greater or 
or at one, you know what I mean? This is gives you, you know, as long as you read those numbers, you will be in a good shape. You will have a good understanding of what you're buying, you know what I mean? So which filter is better filter, you know what I mean? Well, the filter that gives you the lower micro range. So anything at 20 and greater will be filtered out by MSOC. Anything greater than 30, that will be 40, my safe assumption, will be filtered out. Of course, 20 is better. Will it be restrictive? Absolutely not. It will keep the oil cleaner and oil will last longer. That's why there is, you know, big engines, specifically uh, diesels, they now install from the factory bypass filters to keep the oil cleaner because clean oil that traps all the small stuff will last longer, it will protect longer, and will make, it, will make equipment last longer. So that's the reason why micron ratings are so important. However, you know what I mean? You can use either one. It's your choice. Which one to use? What do you want, you know what I mean, out of your engine? You want a long life out of your engine, out of your turbos, out of your cam phasers, out of your timing chains, you know what I mean? All the small stuff, you know, very often people overlook and thinking, oh, I don't have chunks. Well, you're not gonna have chunks of metal. If you have chunks of metal in your oil, your engine is done. It, it, it's not gonna run chunks of metal. Yes, you can have some chunks visible of carbon, actually, if you use an oil that actually removes that, you know what I mean, and filter traps it. Otherwise, you know what I mean, the filter doesn't trap carbon, guess what? It circulates and it causes damage. It causes a scar on the components, you know what I mean? It causes everything to wear out. It becomes so abrasive. It works like a sand, like a sandpaper, you know what I mean? And it's just like a grinder and it's constantly removing the metal, causing the damage to the engine. You know, then you're gonna have oil pressure drop because now a pump for now because of this small carbon stuff that it's flowing, that being, you know, going through the, your oil pump and destroying it, causing it to wear. So, so, so use the filters that gives you the best results. And if you need a guidance, and if you want a long life out of your turbos, out of your engine, and you're not sure which filter will be better for you, mobile or M soil, or maybe some other brands, ask me in the comment section. I'll give you my opinion, or I can give you my recommendation. You know what I mean? Because there's a lot of stuff out there. I'm not saying that I know every single filter manufacturer, every filter out there. There's a lot of European companies. There's a lot of filters throughout the world. You know, there's a main brands and there is, you know, smaller companies that have quality oil filters. So thanks for watching. Don't forget to subscribe.